So this is just going to be a purse haul, but first I wanted to show you uh, one purse that I hauled a little while ago that I'm now blinged out, and I actually really like the way that it looks. So this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy from the summer collection, um, spring, maybe spring collection. I'll leave a link to the video where I hauled it down below. It was a gift for graduating law school, and so I just really like this pink fluff. I know that they're super popular now. I got mine on Amazon, and it was super affordable, so I'll also link that down below. I really like the gold hardware, and it just matches the bag really nicely, and then I've got um, the keychain that I also hauled in that same video so this is my everyday bag um, let me know if you'd like to know any more information about it or if you want reviews of any of the bags that I mentioned in this video but without further ado let's hop right into it so the first thing I want to show you is actually from Louie as well it came in this box and it came wrapped in a leather string but I took all that off so that it would be easy to show you so it also comes in this Louis Vuitton dust bag and what I ended up getting this time was the pochette in the evasion print so I really love the evasion print because it's actually it just looks super vintage and nice it's based off of a marketing campaign that Louis Vuitton had in 1921 so it's got the classic monogram print and then it has uh, the evasion drawing as you can see right here so it's just some people in a car with a nice umbrella it's got um, smoke and if you can actually see there's a Louis Vuitton monogram and the smoke coming out of the back of the car and there's a bird here so just thought it was really classic really nice the Pochette. Let me just look up the price because I actually don't remember. So I've got my handy dandy phone. Um, okay, so this is actually the mini pochette and it costs $365 US. So that's over 400 Canadian because of our awesome exchange rate. But I think that it's nice. Um, Louis Vuitton is a luxury brand, but it is one of the more affordable luxury brands and it's also very durable. So if you're looking to just start your luxury purse collection, I definitely recommend looking into Louis. They're great for that. And it's got this really nice gold chain if you want to carry it around like this when you're out. It's also got some nice gold hardware. You just unzip that and it's got a nice pop of color here as well, which matches with the color on the actual pouch. And then on the inside, it doesn't have any pockets or anything fancy. It's just plain, um, kind of like a canvas, which is nice because, again, it's very durable. You can get it dirty and you can clean it off easily. Yeah, it's basically just a pouch like that. And you know that you've got an authentic Louis when it's got a little leather um, tab. I don't know if you can see that just in the inside right there. And it's going to have a serial number on it. So that's that. That's the first thing that I got, and I really like it. And the second thing that I got is which one should I show a second okay I'll show the big one second so this was my big purchase it's from Chanel as you can tell and this was my New Year's present to myself yes I do enjoy getting myself presents <laughs> but so I've been wanting this bag for a while it's absolutely stunning as you can see it just comes packaged again this also comes with ribbons and bows on top and whatnot just took that all off and again we've got the dust bag so this one says Chanel on it and the bag that I decided to get is this stunning classic flap bag. Now I got mine in this beautiful juicy red color. This is uh, calf skin so it's not as durable as the Louis purse that I showed. You kind of have to be careful with it because the leather can get scratched quite easily. But again I love the gold hardware here. I think that it just looks so classic with the red leather. And Chanel does come out with limited colors so once they're gone they're not going to come out with them again. I believe that this was one of the limited colors. And this bag I really like because it's very versatile. So if you want to carry it just like a clutch, you can. I've actually got the strap tucked into the bag. But if you want to carry it over your shoulder or as a crossbody, you just unlock the mechanism here in the front just by turning it like that. And then you can actually pull the strap out. As you can see, the strap is in here. And you can either have my favorite way of carrying it, which is a dual strap. And that way it just goes on your shoulder. I'm about 5'2", so it hits me... Um, maybe around my midriff, just above my hips. And then you can also have it by tucking one of the straps in as a longer strap like that. And then on someone my height, it's about a crossbody that hits you just on your hip. So that's really nice. I love the versatility of that. It's also got a little pocket on the back. I wouldn't put anything too big in it because that will stretch out the leather. But if you have, you know, a card or something like that, just something small, you can definitely tuck it away in this little pocket. And then the inside of the bag, again, is a nice uh, fabric material so that if you get it dirty, which hopefully you don't, it's not too bad. And then again, it's got a tab, if you can see just in that corner right there, which will show you that it is authentic. It's got the Chanel logo just here on a little 
um, leather square rectangle thing and then it's got a zip pocket and the zip pocket just opens like that again you can keep smaller stuff in it maybe a lip gloss and I actually still have the authenticity card uh, mine is in French for some reason but it has the serial number on the back I bought this at the Chanel store um, in Yorkdale which is a mall here in Toronto and I think that Chanel actually rents the space from Holt Renfrew but it's not a part of Holt Renfrew because Chanel likes having their own stores and so that's the bag. I just think it's absolutely stunning. I love the leather. It looks like fondant to me. It just looks like a cake. And the bag cost um, $4,250. And again, it is the classic flap. So that was Canadian. Um, and before tax, after tax, it was about $4,800. So if you buy it in the U.S., it will be uh, less expensive in U.S. dollars. But with conversion right now, I think it's actually uh, more affordable to buy it in Canada. So if you are a U.S. resident and are considering purchasing a Chanel bag, I would definitely look into coming to Canada. Maybe have a little vacation here. It's a very nice place. Um, but the bags are a lot more affordable with the exchange rate right now. So it's nice. And then I have two bags of the same brand. So the first one I got at Saks, which just opened here in Toronto, actually, um, the one at the Eaton Center. So I went there and I got this little bag, which I have wanted forever. It's adorable. It's a Saint Laurent bag and it is actually still in its packaging. <laughs> it's a crossbody and it's in the pale rose color. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just a stunning little bag. It's durable leather, which I really like. Again, it's not going to be as durable as the Louis, which is canvas, but it's definitely going to be better than the calfskin um, Chanel. And so I just love the color. I love the size. It looks perfect for if you're like just going on a day trip, if you're going to the zoo or shopping or something like that. It's the perfect size to fit just your wallet and maybe a lip gloss, maybe a small water bottle. It's got Saint Laurent written there on the inside and it's got the monogram on the outside in this kind of gunmetal color, which is really nice. I'm going to take uh, the styrofoam off of the strap so that I can show you. So that's the strap right there. As you can see, it's also the same gunmetal color as the hardware on the bag and then it's got a leather strap on top, which also says Saint Laurent on it. And the purse has this little uh, slide pocket on the back as well. Again, I wouldn't put anything too big in it, maybe just a receipt or a card or something like that because it will just kind of make the bag lose its shape. But I love that this bag is kind of chubby and it's really cute, but that also means that you can fit more stuff in it. So I've actually still got everything in it that it came with. Um, it's just got some paper for shape holding and then it's got um, the actual little envelope that has the certificate of authenticity and whatnot in it. And then the inside of the bag is actually just black like that. And I don't know if you can see, but it does have two card holders in here. And then it's got Saint Laurent again written on the inside. Again, I don't know if you can see that, but you'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> so this bag is just super adorable. It closes just with a magnetic clasp like that. And this bag cost $18.95 Canadian, so it came out to about $19.27 with tax or something like that. I may be making that number up, but that's that. It's super cute. I really like it. Very durable, and I'm very happy with my purchase. And then the last thing is actually quite exciting. So again, it's the same brand. We've got another Saint Laurent here, but this one actually was completely unexpected because I found it at Marshall's with my mom. So Marshall's is kind of like TJ Maxx in the States um, or Winners here in Canada. And I feel like Marshall's just has uh, more high-end brands than Winners does, but I was stunned when I saw this bag. I couldn't believe that they would have it at Marshall's. So this is the Saint Laurent um, Sac de Jour, and this is the Nano, and this is in the color Bubblegum Pink, which I could not believe, again, because if I actually had to choose a Sac de Jour, this is the exact one I would have gotten, the tiny little Nano in the Bubblegum Pink. The other one that I like is the bigger one, I think the medium size in the light, like, rosy blush color, but this small one I just think is so cute for a little pop of color so it is leather as you can tell and it's got um, just a little lock here hanging off of the strap it's got gold writing the Saint Laurent which is just beautiful with the pink it's got little feet um, so that if you put it down it doesn't ruin the bottom of the bag and I still have not taken the stickers off of the feet and then it comes with a shoulder strap I don't have the shoulder strap on the bag right now but it does have these two gold rings if you can see that you can attach it to and then the inside is just kind of like a suede, so it is a bit more delicate on the inside, so you don't want to get that dirty. But what's really cute is that the key to the lock actually attaches to the inside of the bag with this little clasp. 
So I thought that was super adorable. You can just take the key off or snap it back on and it's sitting in there. And then it's got a little slide pocket, but the bag itself actually doesn't close. So uh, you might not want to, you know, throw this like into, I don't know, an overhead compartment if you're flying or something because your belongings will probably go everywhere. But if you're just holding it, it's so nice just to take to a little event in the summer, like a cocktail party or something like that. I just think it's adorable and so fun and the color is so cute. And again, we've got the uh, envelope with the certificate of authenticity and whatnot in it. Now, because I bought this bag at Marshall's, I want to talk about the price for a second. So these sacs de jour, which are super, super popular, I see them on Insta all the time, run about, I think, 1800 to 2000 on the internet uh, when I looked it up. And so Marshalls sells stuff at a discount to what the manufacturer suggested retail price would be. So this was priced at Marshalls for $14.99, which is about four to $500 off, which is great. So I was going to get it, but then I saw that there was just a tiny bit of scratching on the back. I don't think you'll even be able to see if I show you, but it's just very, very light surface scratches on the leather. And I'm thinking, okay, if I'm gonna pay $1,500 for a bag, I don't know if I really want it to have scratches on the leather, but then I'm thinking, okay, this is such a good deal for a Saint Laurent bag, for a sac de jour, so I'm just gonna see if I can get any discount on it because of the damage. So I took the bag to the front and I told the girl, listen, I really wanna get this bag, but it is a bit scuffed up on the back. If you have another one, a new one, I'd be more than happy to take it, but if this is the only one, then I don't know if I feel comfortable you know, purchasing it with scratches on the back. And she told me, well, unfortunately, we only got one, but I am happy to give you a discount because it is damaged. So this bag came out to da -da -da, $13.25 when its original price runs from $1,800 to $2,000. So I thought that was such a fantastic price for this bag. It's adorable. It's my style, and it's exactly what I'd get if I was buying it from Saint Laurent. So I just thought that was such a wonderful deal. And I just wanted to show you guys, if you do go to Marshalls, I think they have the same thing at Winners, just keep an eye out for tags that look like this. It says red carpet, and this is the tag that they put on their higher end brands. If they have like Dolce Gabbana, Versace, stuff like that. So keep an eye out for this because you can get some really, really great prices. But anyway, that was my haul. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye guys, you phone. Um, okay, so this is actually the mini pochette and it costs $365 US, so that's over 400 Canadian because of our awesome exchange rate. But I think that it's nice. Um, Louis Vuitton is a luxury brand, but it is one of the more affordable luxury brands and it's also very durable. So if you're looking to just start your luxury purse collection, I definitely recommend looking into Louis. They're great for that. And it's got this really nice gold chain if you want to carry it around like this when you're out. It's also got some nice gold hardware. You just unzip that and it's got a nice pop of color here as well, which matches with the color on the actual pouch. And then on the inside, it doesn't have any pockets or anything fancy. It's just plain, um, kind of like a canvas, which is nice because, again, it's very durable. You can get it dirty and you wrapped in a leather string, but I took all that off so that it would be easy to show you. So it also comes in this Louis Vuitton dust bag. And what I ended up getting this time was the pochette in the evasion print so i really love the evasion print because it's actually it just looks super vintage and nice it's based off of a marketing campaign that louis vuitton had in 1921 so it's got the classic monogram print and then it has uh the evasion drawing as you can see right here so it's just some people in a car with a nice umbrella it's got um smoke and if you can actually see there's the louis vuitton monogram and the smoke coming out of the back of the car and there's a bird here so just thought it was really classic really nice the Pochette. Let me just look up the price because I actually don't remember. So I've got my handy dandy. Can clean it off easily. Yeah, it's basically just a pouch like that. And you know that you've got an authentic Louis when it's got a little leather um, tab. I don't know if you can see that just in the inside right there. And it's going to have a serial number on it. So that's that. That's the first thing that I got, and I really like it. And the second thing that I got is which one should I show a second? Okay, I'll show the big one second. So this was my big purchase. It's from Chanel, as you can tell, and this was my New Year's present to myself. Yes, I do enjoy getting myself presents. <laughs> but so I've been wanting this bag for a while. It's absolutely stunning. As you can see, it just comes packaged. Again, this also comes with ribbons and bows on top and whatnot. Just took that all off. 
And again, we've got the dust bag. So this one says, so this is just going to be a purse haul. But first I wanted to show you uh, one purse that I hauled a little while ago that I've now blinged out and I actually really like the way that it looks. So this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy from the summer collection, um, spring, maybe spring collection. I'll leave a link to the video where I hauled it down below. It was a gift for graduating law school. And so I just really like this pink fluff. I know that they were super popular now. I got mine on Amazon and it was super affordable. So I'll also link that down below. I really like the gold hardware and it just matches the bag really nice. And then I've got um, the keychain that I also hauled in that same video. So this is my everyday bag. Um, let me know if you'd like to know any more information about it or if you want reviews of any of the bags that I mentioned in this video. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. So the first thing I want to show you is actually from Louie as well. It came in this box and it came now on it. And the bag that I decided to get is this stunning classic flap bag. Now I got mine in this beautiful juicy red color. This is uh, calf skin, so it's not as durable as the Louis purse that I showed. You kind of have to be careful with it because the leather can get scratched quite easily. But again, I love the gold hardware here. I think that it just looks so classic with the red leather. And Chanel does come out with limited colors, so once they're gone, they're not going to come out with them again. I believe that this was one of the limited colors. And this bag I really like because it's very versatile. So if you want to carry it just like a clutch, you can. I've actually got the strap tucked into the bag. But if you want to carry it over your shoulder or as a crossbody, you just unlock the mechanism here in the front. 